Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Java web application project which is entitled as Detection of Offensive Messages in Social Media to Protect Online Safety. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So quickly let us see the hardware and software requirement. So this project can be executed in Windows 10 or 11. Coding language we have used is Java. Front end part is JSP, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, JDK version, JDK 21, IDE tool is Apache Deadbeans IDE 20, Tomcat server is Apache Tomcat 9.0.84 and the database that we have used is MySQL database. So you can see the system architecture here so which contains of user and admin so user can be able to or register and log into the system they can be able to view the timeline they can post some tweets on it and they can be able to see the messages from the other users in the admin part they can be able to view the users they can be able to detect the offensive messages and they can be able to block the users so now in the abstract part you can see that so basically nowadays in the social media there are many number of users started using social media and also you can see many number of many users are making offensive messages in the social media so so now we are going to develop a system which go which is going to detect the offensive messages and also block such particular user so we are developed the project similar to twitter's where you having the options like posting the tweets and message sending messages to the user and also they can able to view the timeline the details of it so such kinds of details we are going to first develop it and also the administrator should be able to identify the the offensive messages and block the user so those details have been mentioned in the abstract part in the existing system you can see what are all the things that is already available in the existing system and you can see the disadvantages of the existing system and this is about the proposed system and these are all the list of advantages of our proposed system so now let us see the execution of the project before execution make sure that you have used the exact version of the jdk netbeans and mysql that is mentioned in the help file now open the apache netbeans ide 20 so first you need to import the project into the netbeans id so just go to the file menu and click open project now go to the source code location where you can see the source code folder inside that you have this bullet net just select this and click open project now kindly wait till the complete project is being loaded into the netbeans IDE. meanwhile let us attach the database just go to the mysql administrator login with the credentials of username and password as root and root and then click ok so now in the left side panel click the restore option in the right side panel click the open backup file now again go to the project location where you will be having the database folder inside the database folder you can see the database just select this database and then click start restore so now you can see the restore operation was finished successfully message and click close now you can close this mysql administrator part because we have successfully attached the database so coming back to the netbeans id the project is being loaded into the netbeans id now let us execute it so just right click it and then select run now you can see the username and password of the tomcat server we have given admin and admin click ok so now it is navigated to the browser part so now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title detection of offensive messages in social media to protect online safety so as i mentioned so we have by having the user and the admin so first let me go to the user part so as i don't have any username and password initially i'll just register just go to the register part so now you can see the user registration page so in the user registration page you need to give those details to register for a new user so first let me create a new user called jp i'll just enter the email id date of birth gender phone number address password and select the profile photo so make sure that your photo is somewhat smaller size so that there will not be any conflict you can preview the photo here and then click sign up so now you can see the registration is success now let me go to the admin part so just log in admin as only a single username and password that is admin and admin and then click login so now you can see the login is success so now you can see the welcome screen of the admin so admin has the option of seeing the user details just select the user details now you can see the user details so now i have entered the detail 
of the jp so the details is being displayed here so there is only one user now you can see user tweets so the user has not had logged in and posted any tweet so it is empty and you can see the bullying tweets here everything is empty and you can see the blocked user everything is empty now so now let me log out and go to the user part so i have created a, a new user called jp so now let me create another user so let me go to the uh, register part so now let me create uh, another user called uh, xx select a profile photo for this user and click sign up so now i have created another user called xx so now let me log in to the first user jp and login now the login is successful once after the login is successful the user can see their profile with their details of name data birth email id whichever the details they have entered with their profile photo so here uh, as i said we'll be having some basic features of this uh, social networking part like timeline you just click the timeline you can see uh, what are the timeline that is posted so it is the first the first time we are running so there is no any post or tweets is being posted so it is empty so you can see the option of posting the tweet here and you can see all the people who are all available so you can see we i have created another user called xx so it is uh, it is listing those those details here if you are creating some other details users so all the details of the whoever the users available in the social media will be displayed here and you can see the who are the followers and who whom we are following so all the details will be updated here you can see the message part if particular if you wanted to particularly message to a particular person you can just message from here and you can see the view messages if someone particularly message that is private message to you you can view these details so these are all the basic functionalities that is available as given the social media so now let me go to the tweet part i'm just posting my first tweet as hi everyone i'm just selecting an image for this post and then post it so now you can see the tweet is post just go to the timeline you can see that the tweet posted by me is available so now uh, if you if you go to all people as i said the people that is available social media will be available if you wanted to follow some people just you can just click follow you can see that uh, the user is followed so if i'm going to following part earlier that was empty now you can see i am following xx person so that is being updated here so if i wanted to message to a particular person you can see the details so there is only one user now so i'm just going to message this xx so just click message hi how are you and send it so now let me log out so now i am logging into the second user xx after logging in this time you just go to the timeline you can see the timeline posted by jp is being displayed here so now uh, if you go to the followers you can see jp is following xx person so that is being displayed here so now if you go to the view messages part you can see the jp user as sent a message and that is being displayed in the inbox so these are the basic functionalities that is been uh, uh, available in the online social networking thing that is being displayed here so now let me uh, go to the tweet part so i'll just post some uh, offensive message here i will kill you and i'll just post this so you can see the tweet is posted now so now let me log out now i'll go to the admin part i'll log in with the admin credentials so after login to the admin credentials so if you go to the user tweets you can see who admin has the rights of seeing all the user tweets with the twitter id user id name tweets photo etc here you can see the jp which is posted hi everyone and jp is shown here and also you can see excess person posted i will kill you 
so now if you go to the bullying tweets so now you can see it is only showing the tweet id of the person xx i will kill you because kill is a bull it is offensive message so that is being categorized here and it is showing so the admin admin can easily identify who is making the offensive messages here and they can block the user so i'm just clicking block so you can see it is the user is blocked now so now if you go to the blocked user you can see this user is now blocked so it is showing this one so now if you go to the graph part you can see how, what are all the tweets available and bullying tweets available so now you can see i have totally there are two tweets available in that one is bullying tweet so that is being displayed so this is a dynamic graph so which how many number of tweets you are posting and it, how many bullying tweets are available accordingly it varies i will show you that uh, uh, graph in a dynamic part so just let me log out now let me go to the user part if i am going to log in with the user credentials of xx you can see the login is failed because the admin has blocked this user because he has posted the offensive message so now let me log in to the first user jp so now i am just going to the tweet part and posting that happy new year i'll just post some message and post it so now let me log out and go to the admin part this is to show you the dynamic graph so now let me go to the graph part you can see that now the tweets has been increased to three the bullying tweet is only one because the user has not posted any other bullying tweet. so the, the only the all tweets has been increased so in this way the graph is dynamic so now going to the add bullying words you just go to the add bullying words you can just add any of the for example if there is no words already available uh, no bullying words or the offensive word is available you can just also have the option of uh, adding it or we can also add the data set also in case if there are large number of data you wanted to add it you can just select this add data set and you can able to add it also in a bulk way So in the project folder, I've given you data set. You can see bully word. For example, if you wanted to upload in a bulk way, you can able to do it here. I'll just select this and then click submit. So now you can see the data set is uploaded successfully. So in case if you wanted to add one or two words also, you can able to do it. So I'll just enter uh, uh, any of the word. and then click submit so now let me log out i'll go to the user jp again and just put some uh, offensive word here Now the tweet is posted now let me log out from this part i'll go to the admin part now if you go to the bullying tweets you can see already the xx user posted i will kill you it is being categorized into the bullying tweets uh, now you can see the jp is posted this and that has been categorized because the admin has already added a new word so that has been identified here and it has been categorized into the offensive message or bullying tweet. so now the admin blocks this user also so now if you go to the blocked user you can see jp is also now blocked xx is also blocked because both the user has offensive messages so now if you see all the user tips here here user admin part we can see all the user details they can see all the user tweets they can see the bullying tweets separately and add bullying they can able to add the bullying words separately or in a data set format 
uh, they can able to see the blocked users and finally the graph part you can see earlier there was one boolean tweet now you can see the boolean tweet is two because the new boolean tweet has been added so in this way the analysis part is made so now let me log out from this part and this is all about the project detection of offensive messages in social media to protect online safety using java and thank you for watching <laughs>